Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play EverQuest 2. So we're going to be playing the server type traditional and we're going to be playing on the server model, model, module, module, I don't know. We'll have to see it near the end here. Uh, so before we begin, EverQuest 2 is a free to play MMORPG and uh, you can definitely check it out. Uh, it's on Steam as well, which is awesome. And uh, it has a lot of classes. It's an older game, so don't expect, you know, the craziest, best graphics in the world. But uh, it looks pretty good overall. Um, so you can be a fighter, and you can see there's six fighter class. There's seven priest classes. There's six mage classes. And then there's uh, seven uh, scout classes. Quite a lot. And the class I'm thinking of going is with Shadow Knight. The reason I like Shadow Knight is because they're kind of like the, they're strength dependent. They're like the melee sword uh, type class, but they're kind of like a badass, I don't know, like a half mixed demon slash shadow. Or I guess a way you could put it is sort of like what you would see in like the everyday vampire uh, TV shows and stuff. But going back to the classics where they use swords and stuff like that with some extra abilities. I kind of have that feel when I'm playing it. Don't ask. It's a little bit weird. Um, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, not comparing this game to WoW, uh, but uh, I think a Death Knight has similar um, idea to accept. Uh, instead of a, like a one-button rotation, this game has like a 30-button rotation um, that you can do, which is pretty cool. So, you can select uh, different races. Now, depending on what you pick as a class, uh, actually has an effect on the race. So, usually the left side is more the good, and the right is more the bad. Um, and I think that's just how it is, period. And uh, if it's in the middle like this one, and like this one, I believe these are like both sides. But anyways, uh, so the Shadow Knight's on the right, so they're not... Uh, good. So you can't pick any of the good races. So you have to end up being neutral or evil, um, which is pretty cool to be honest. And it, it is cool that there is um, this much complexity when it comes down to it because you don't really get this anymore in games. And I, I really like the idea of that being a thing. Um, so I'm going to be a half elf. Uh, I just, I kind of like them because they're kind of small. I don't want to go too small, like, you know, the friggin' rat. But at the same time, they have that, uh, I don't know, they're just, they're cool, you know, to me. Um, and they're, uh, yeah, they're a bit smaller than the humans. So, yeah, let's try that. And we're going to go next here. So uh, you can zoom in here with your scroll wheel and you can decide your character. My character is actually pretty good. I would I'd change a few things like the hair color, get rid of the piercings. But uh, I'm not really good at, you know, customization. I just want to play the darn game, right? But, uh... Let's go with the eyes like that. Uh, the hair, I actually like the style. I'm going to keep that style. It's called the vamp style. Go figure. We we're talking about vampires here, and they have the, the vamp style hair. I don't know if that has any relation to vampires, but um, I'm in this vampire mood lately. I watched... No, maybe I shouldn't tell you. Fine, I'll tell you. I watched all the Vampire Diaries. And as a man at the age of 32, I cried. I bawled. I bawled. Yeah, if you want to make fun of me, you can make fun of me, but I bawled. <laughs> At least I was happy about the ending, and, you know, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I've just lost all my uh, my viewers now. Uh, okay, so, let's go with red and white. No, 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 let's go with white and red. Something like that. That's kind of cool. Um, you can, yeah, you can adjust quite a few things. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to bother. Maybe I'll give myself a bit of a proper tan here. But we're not white like a vampire. Vampires don't need to be white. Uh, there we go. So we're smaller in size. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I think overall I'm happy with that. So there you go. That's my character. Uh, we'll go next here. And you got a couple starting areas. Uh, I think depending on neutral, if I went pure enemy, I think I get maybe extra one or two starting areas if you want good you get a couple of other extra starting areas i think there's like maybe nine or ten i don't know how many starting areas in total but uh there's quite a few i'm gonna try out this narak forest i don't think i've ever done it before and we're gonna be playing majul 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 
Majul. Uh, so that's the server we're going to be playing. Apparently that is the most popular server these days with Hall of Fate coming in a close second, I believe, and Atonia Bailey and then Skyfire, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can't totally tell you the numbers, uh, but that's from what I gathered from some research. And there we go. I'm going to be Kane Hart. I am going to be playing free to play. Yes, I am going to be pure free to play. Um, so, eh, you know... I don't have the money, unfortunately. That's why I'm going to be playing free-to-play. If you were to ask, should I go subscription or free-to-play, I highly, highly recommend going subscription. First, you're supporting a, you know, a decent company, uh, or I should say decent developers, if we don't want to go for a company-wide here. Let's just go with developers. And um, I think it's worth it, and you get a lot of good features. One of the downsides is the market has... Uh, inflated quite a bit over the years. Ooh, there's a shiny here. And because of the inflation, um, it's kind of doomed uh, new players from earning decent plot because I can't sell on the broker. So this is these are the discovery things. You collect items and you, you collect them in here. For example, Moth. And that was loud. And you, you have a collection and there's ridiculous ridiculous amount of collections um hide completed open loot how do i i don't think you can but there's hundreds and hundreds there could be even a thousand plus i don't know collections in the game which is really cool you got achievements as well uh you, your quests you can have up to 75 in your journal which is awesome uh you got these daily objectives this is cool never seen this before uh, mission timers look at all the different timers on here these are probably like lockouts and resets and things like that. Isn't that crazy? Uh, but anyways, I highly, 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 highly recommend uh, going subscriber, mainly because of the broker. Uh, I'm screwed. Unless some person out there just says, you know, mails me here, you know, 100,000 plat. And probably not 100,000, but you know what I mean. Um, it's going to be harder over time to progress uh, gear-wise. But that's not going to stop my turn determination i'm gonna have fun we're gonna take our time we're gonna enjoy the game for what it offers so here's a quest okay so we're gonna grab a quest here Ooh, look at that a nice sword there too look at the stats on that so we're gonna work on that right away and uh looks like we have to talk to these two guys here which probably uh point me in the right danger okay there you go and you and there you go, we already got the quest reward. And they give it to me right in my inventory. Cool. So this this sword has, my, my sword has two to six damage. This one has eight to 31, um, which delays 1.9. Ah, the delay's a lot longer on this new sword. So I can't quite give you the uh, DPS. I don't know if they do show DPS. They do a fighter uh, a rating, 6.5 versus 4.3, so. There you go. There's probably a DPS somewhere, but I'm a noob, so remember that, of course. <laughs> oh, auto attack DPS. Yeah, that's probably not going to be the best. Probably because everything uses skill based, it's probably not going to help there. Yes, I will. There you go. So let's fight these guys. Now, you're probably be best off fighting the ones that are ones. I saw one over there, but there's not many. Oh, well, we'll fight it level two. Might be a little harder. So I've decided in this series, what we're going to do is we're going to take our time. We're going to explore uh, the world. That's one thing I want to do, and I think you guys deserve, is for us to explore and enjoy the world itself. Um, sadly, a lot of times when we play games, we don't explore often. And um, yeah, I think it's important for us to explore. The developers put so much time into building and crafting this wonderful world. I feel like a lot of people uh, tend to skip them. Even new players, they kind of play the game and they go right for it. They just they try to get max level and that's all they can think of is raiding and things like that. But for me, I'm thinking of taking my time. In fact, I'm thinking of using, there's something called a Chrono Mage, I believe it's called, um, where you can go back and uh, so let's say I'm level 20 and I want to go to another maybe newer zone or whatever to level in or just do the quest and things. Well, normally uh, what kind of sucks about that is that uh, you'd be level 20 and maybe you start at level 5 or 2 or whatever. 
and you know you're one-shotting everything it's not as fast well you can go to a chrono mage and actually level yourself down say to level 10 and that way you can do the content and still earn some experience uh, which I think would be kind of cool so we'll figure that out over time of course um, I'm also not gonna record as crazy as my rift series um, not putting a comparison into Rift or anything like that. Uh, I think my issue with Rift is I over-recorded. Um, I recorded every basically every moment of questing, and I think that was a bit too much. I think then you lose a lot of substance from the series because people want to see what new content there is. They don't want to wait till episode 30 when I arrive in a new zone. They, you know, maybe episode five or ten or something. But when it's like you know episode 30, I think that's a bit too much. And ding, we're level two. So, oh, we finished that quest, actually. So that's that's our plans anyways, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, over time, I'll join a guild. I'll probably join a guild off camera, but you click this guild button down here, and you can join uh, guilds out there. There was one I was actually, somebody recommended. They're not showing up right now, actually, on here. But uh, some people were saying, oh, they're a really friendly bunch of people, so I thought maybe i check them out. I think it was called Eternal. Uh, there's uh, Eternal Champions, but I don't think that was it. Maybe it is, though. Um, I think it was just called Internal, uh, the uh, the guild. But either way, we'll look through it over time. There we go. Let me open our... So you can see the boots are definitely a bit better. Now, um, I had changed a couple settings. Uh, one, there's a window hidden here. If we go window settings, uh, there's a capacity. Basically, this is the all-access uh, which, uh, once again, I recommend it, uh, but I couldn't move the window. I couldn't figure out a way to move it. I unlocked it, locked it, things like that. couldn't move it, so what I've done is I hit it, but because I've tested out this character name and changed a couple of settings, that's why you didn't see originally, because the settings, if it was the exact same character name, uh, get replaced from what I had, as well as... Um, when you do make a new character, you can actually pick an old character and... Uh, use uh, their settings. So we got another bone here. Here, Oh, look at this. So, Yeah, for now I'm going to use these items. Normally for collections, I would try to sell them. But at this point, there's no point because I have no access to a broker. So rather than sell them, I'm going to try to complete some of the collections. So you can see my collection slowly adding. And basically when you discover them, since I had this bone, it discovered this collection and this collection. This is when they start showing up. And then you can sort them by progression, for example, how far the way you're done, things like that, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so what are we up to here? Seal one of the rifts. Uh, do you think that's it? The terrace right there? Oh no, here it is. It's this Oh, here it is. Seal one of the newly opened rifts. Oh! Are you the rift? Oh, I think I see it. Ah, there it is. There's a little rock on it. There you go. And there's a rock probably here too. There you go. This game is probably one of the more interesting games out there too because you got to use your brain sometimes because it's like more of an old school setup and I don't say that in a bad way, I say that in a good way. There's a lot of things to do. There's just so much content that it's ridiculous. There, there is never ending content in this game. Uh, that I would say like you got you know these collections, but these collections are if you've ever played Rift But not EverQuest 2 uh, Rift's uh, collection system is kind of a amateur v version of what you have here In fact, I'm sure Rift, you know borrowed the idea which is not a problem uh, from EverQuest itself um, Okay harvesting oh here we go. I like to learn about collections. So this person what happens next? How do I complete a collection? I like to learn about harvesting. Um, allows you to collect them. You can see your character screen skill tabs, selecting general skills. Rock increased mining log increases forestry. Why do I need to increase the harvesting skill? Okay. Learn to harvest. Uh, I will learn to harvest raw materials I need for crafting. Oh, this is cool. So you need to cr grab all these different materials. That's cool. And here's a mender. Um, but I saw something under this mender's feet. Oh, no! I missed out and I saw it and I was, oh, my shiny disappeared. You're going to find over time, I chase shinies down. I love shinies. They're, they're awesome. <laughs> so, if we can't see in skills, ah, here it is. Um, 
general. Ah, so you have skills here. So you got mining, gathering, etc. I don't know if you have to train new ones or if they uh, automatically go up over time, but we'll find out. So here you go. Here's another collection item. My friend uh, Annie and I used to play this all the time. And uh, I used to have, I forget what it was. It used to be like collecting, collecting, do, do, do. I don't know. We used to have, yeah, I know it sounds pathetic. We used to have this little collecting little song we go. Um, okay, so skills, that's what it was. Um, when you level up, your skills increase more. Um, so there's a downside to this. If you try to go to a high level zone right now, you wouldn't be able to really gather anything. Um, that's just how it works. But if your your uh, adventure level or your crafting level is higher, I don't think it matters which, but either or uh, will increase. You say your your force, you know your your max skill for the gathering. Um, it won't make it so your minimum amount is higher though. You would have to do that by actually skilling up and harvesting yourself. But um, the higher level you are, the max it can go, and that goes for crafting as well. And later on, I don't know if I'll do it, it depends, but later on you can actually get flying mounts in the game and you can actually get it at low level combat level by crafting. And I think you have to get to like level 85 or something crazy crafting. I say crazy, it's probably not crazy for most, but um, you know as a new player and stuff it seems crazy to me. But uh, you can get to uh, uh, 85 uh, crafting skill and then you're able to... Nice. One to go. Uh, you're able to then uh, get a flying mount. Now, I don't know how much the flying mounts are. I don't know any of that stuff. That's things we'll have to look into in the future, of course. But uh, we got plenty of time anyways. I'm going to, like I said, take my time, enjoy the game, and have fun. You can feel free to add me in the game as well. Um, and I'll put it in the description or the uh, probably a comment or something about it as well in the game. Okay. Sorry, I have to go for these collections. These collections are everything to me. And you get EXP. It's like doing a quest. So, uh, ooh, I got the strip one. <laughs> okay, so we got to fight these guys, these higher level ones, level threes. Okay. Let's do that then. <gasps> oh, no, another one. So you're you're already getting an idea of spotted ones. You're already seeing like how fun the game can be and how things can get a little addictive. Okay, so I can drag these off. So to be able to drag off your hotbar, since I am a new player, I've played this a few times over the years, but I've never gotten to max level. I've never raided. I don't think I've hardly even done any den dungeons and things like that because I didn't have any friends to play with, which I hope to change that over time. But um, one of the things I want to do is try to help new players as well get into the game since I do know some things. Plus, I do ask a lot of questions. I, I try to research and learn as much as I can so I can share my experience with other players out there. But if you right click and go to hotbar settings, you can do allow draggable icons. Um, it's kind of a, a unique way of doing it. it. Took me a while to figure it out. But if you do this, then you can take these icons and drag them. The, um, oh, we just got a new skill. Uh, the range attack and the melee attack, I, I always take those off. Basically, if you hit your tilde key, the, the key beside your one, that should allow you to um, be able to, uh, I think this is a buff, to be honest. Yeah. Um, that should be able to allow you to uh, get into combat. So if I hit my tilde key now, oops, wow. There you go. You can see I'm in combat. I don't know if I do range though with that. Oh yeah, shift shift tilde I think I just did to do a range ability. There you go. So this ability, what did this do? Increase blah blah blah. When damage a melee spell casts, increases threat to target, inflicts one disease damage. Ooh, look at we got a treasure chest. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice necklace. And already you're seeing like you're getting nice stats out of these items. A tune is Soulbound. It's the same idea of uh, Soulbound. In a lot of other games, you might be used to that.
Are you guys rooting for me while I root these roots? Sorry, I had to. There's this question mark that's driving me insane. There's 11 unread t tutorials. Attuned items. Uh, some items require you to attune them to get their benefits. When worn, it makes the item unusable only by you. Once attuned, an item can't be traded. Thank you. We know that now, but that is good to know. Good tutorial thing there, though. Um, shows my experience and level up. It shows my getting new abilities over time. And it shows my character window here. Oh, here it is. It's on the right side. There you go. They used to call it SC because it used to be Sony coins or something like that, maybe. Um, but now it's owned by Daybreak Games, a different company now, so... Ooh. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? Okay, so we saw the improving your skills. It showed us the character window here, things like that. Perfect. Oh, what is this thing? Is this like an instance or what is this? I'm going to jump into it anyways. <laughs> that is so cool looking. We're getting a little sidetracked here though. Oh, so this is a range ability, so I'm going to swap this one with this one. There we go. Um, I don't know what you guys are like, but my natural uh, spam key that I hit first is normally two rather than one. So I like putting my range or pull abilities on the one key. Um, and then uh, focus on two, three, four for my attacks usually. But in this, I'm assuming you would want to use your range just as much as your other attacks as well. But at least when I'm running towards an enemy, I know I always tap one for that range ability, so... There you go. Have we finished that? Oh yeah, we have finished that quest. Still gotta uh, finish the harvesting, but that's something like I'll probably end up doing off camera and stuff like that. Stuff. I say stuff a lot. I apologize. I think when I was younger, I was always told don't use the word stuff too, but... Uh, we already have the plain tan moth, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's why I didn't pop up. So let's look, how many, uh, how many gathering skills are there? There's fishing, forestry, gathering, mining, transmuting, and tr trapping. So there's six different uh, gathering type skills. That's actually pretty hot. I said hot, don't ask. Uh, let's check out some of these uh, improving spell and combat. New levels bring new uh, spells uh, and new combat arts. These are usually apprentice rank. They may be improved by acquiring higher ranks. Oh yeah, so you can get new uh, scrolls and books and things like that to improve them. I think Endgame as well, you can actually research. Or yeah, there's the research here they talk about. Um, I don't think I'll be researching any at this point. I don't think it's worth it, but somebody could probably correct me on that. But later on, I probably would definitely start doing a lot of research. Um, let's see what the next one. Combat. So we're talking about the combat. I mean, we've already been doing combat, so... Nothing special there. Uh, this one's talking about your inventory management. Um, I would say, oh, and there's appearance items. That's cool. Uh, this one is your loot. Right click to examine the items for more details. This one is completing quests. This one is Mingding. Uh, every time you earn 10% of the experience, uh, needed to level up your health and power will be replenished completely. Oh, so it's not when you level up, but it's every 10% basically. So, you know, if you hit 20% into your level, you'll get full health again. That is cool. Uh, the quest journal, which, uh, L key? Nope, J key. Nope. Yeah, J maybe. 
Let's see, does it open? Yeah, so J would be your quest journal. Very cool. In your collections, achievements, daily objectives, we already went through that. And then you've got your quest journal again, sharing quests, hiding quests, collections, achievements, etc. Uh, basic movements. <laughs> I think we already have that down, like most games. Uh, user interface basics. This is telling you all the different information here. And there we go. We caught up on the, the help menus anyways. There you go. So if it's grayed out, does that mean that I already have it? I wonder. And over time, I might try some new interface add-ons and things like that. I do at first want to play just pure vanilla, but over time, we'll probably add it. Look at my chat. You can take the chat window, by the way, drag it up, you know, change things like this. Uh, you might want to add uh, new chat channels over time. Since I'm not in a guild or a party or anything like that, I'm not going to bother. But later on, I might have like a tell chat or a guild chat. That way, I can keep an eye on, uh, you know, multiple channels. And that way I won't miss anything if I'm AFK, things like that, of course, so. But let's go ahead and we'll hand this quest in and we'll probably call it an episode here. And there you go. Ooh, short bow, nice. And we do use range, that's the cool thing. We kind of use a bit of everything, uh, which I love. I love having all the different, you know, abilities. Oh, wow. Already we're getting to the point where we might want to do this and go open a new hop bar. There we go. So this is a sprint. This is a buff. Are these the same? Oh, they are. Reduces physical damage, increases stamina. So this is the tanking ability. And this other one is like your... Um, oh, you got to... <laughs> you gotta go through the hotbar settings again. Uh, allow, there you go. This is uh, your DPS one, it looks like. So this will cancel it out, and there you go. So there you go. That's more of a off, uh, you know, like your DPS. And this one looks like it's more your uh, tanking specs. So that's pretty cool. So either way, uh, I guess I could check out what this quest's about. Okay. Uh, find the source of the sable vein or whatever attacks and put it to an end. Uh, and we'll, of course, mine the cluster. So, yeah, I'll basically hang around here a bit more, uh, do some more questing. This one's going to actually take us into a bit of a cave. I guess we've never looked into a cave yet. So maybe we'll continue from where we are on the next episode, but eventually we'll start drifting a bit further as time goes on. But since we're kind of new, you know, we're, we're just taking our time having fun. Uh, hopefully I didn't over talk. I probably won't talk as much in most episodes, but since we're learning and stuff, it's, it's kind of over talk. I apologize. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and, uh, I hope you guys will be checking out EverQuest too. Uh, feel free to add me to your friends. Uh, I love to have more friends in the game. Um, and, uh, we'll see you guys, uh, next time. And, uh... Oh, gathering obsession. Look at that. What is this? Applies harvesting expertise when harvesting lasts one hour. Caster will harvest a second time on 5% of the harvest and gathering. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's one of the nice things I like where your NPCs melee you and stuff. Anyways, guys and girls, we'll see you next time.